Hi there, it's Manal from Minis Craft Boutique. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. Today I will be showing you a very easy windmill wall hanging. I have made almost half of it and I'll be completing it with you and I will show you how to make these cute little windmills and complete the wall hanging. So let's get started. For this wall hanging you need a piece of paper i am using this collection of amusement park which i showed you in uh, my what did i get video if you haven't watched that video i will paste the link over here so this is the pattern that i have chosen to go with okay so i have cut the paper into four by four squares uh, the size does not matter at all whatever is your preference you can use that my preference was four by four okay so for the windmill you're going to take the square and you're going to fold it in half diagonally on both sides okay like this after that what you're going to do is take a pencil or anything that can be used just to put a mark okay so where are you going to put marks this is the middle of the uh, square so what you're going to do is from this center point you're going to come one inch across this fold line or this crease and you're going to mark at one one inch on all four sides all right so let me just do it so i'm just going to put my ruler in the middle and mark at one inch and i'm going to do this on all four sides If you are using a paper uh, of size bigger than 4x4, four four, you are just going to mark a quarter uh, of this hole at quarter way of this whole crease. You are going to leave 3 quarters from this corner and mark at the point which suits the paper. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut up from this corner up to this mark that you have just made. Alright. So let's just cut up like this on all four sides. These windmills are pretty easy to make and when I thought of this idea of using these windmills or pinwheels as uh, many of you might call them uh, i thought that it's going to look very cute for your own room for your children's room or for uh, any area uh, where you have put your photos etc so it's just going to add a bit of a uh, mood lifter to your wall okay so now what you're going to do is we have sections like this on all sides right so with anything that you that is handy for you you're just going to curl the paper from one of the corners on all four sides this is how you're going to do it so you see our windmill has already started to shake uh, take a bit of a shape right so now you're going to flip it over and what you're going to do, do is you're going to take hot glue put a small bead of glue in the center just a tiny bead and you're going to take this tip and just put it here with anything that does not stick to the glue just push it a little bit and make sure you let this side be curved with your finger okay once it's done, move on to the next one. Again, a thin bead of glue. And just going to align it here. And press it down a little bit. So once the glue dries, it's going to be compact. Or you can say it's not going to move. You just need to hold on for a few seconds. And it's done. 
and this way you're going to work your way around okay this is how you're going to push it a little bit okay and the last one you're going to do the same thing and don't worry about the strands of the glue you can always remove them later just waiting for the glue to cool down a bit so that I can move on to the next step okay so once this is done just remove the extra bits of glue and to finish it off I have used these flowers I chose to go with yellow color flower because I thought it's going to give it a pop of color so it's again entirely up to you if you want to use a flower or anything else you can use whatever you like or whatever you want so your pinwheel is ready can you see how cute does it look so this is my previously done hanging and as you can see I have just made a loop of a ribbon just to make it hang uh, easily on the wall and at the back it's like this so our next step is going to be sticking this onto our uh, ribbon what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a non-stick sheet at uh, the bottom of the ribbon just to make sure that my working surface is not uh, ruined with the hot glue and at the back of the pinwheel in the middle make sure it's in the middle I'm going to put some glue hot glue again and can you see how I am maintaining the distance between both the pinwheels it's almost two uh, you can say panels of the pinwheels and it measures around the distance of the pinwheels is around five or five and a quarter inches so it's roughly five inches from the center of one pinwheel to another okay so once you're sure that it's properly stuck down just take it off and what you're going to do is just cut off the excess ribbon from the end all right and this is how your wall hanging will be complete now if you wish to add something at the end of it i thought of hanging uh, some jingles but uh, I was short on them so I couldn't just put them but it's a nice idea to put some jingles uh, at the end it's going to give a very pleasant sound when it moves with the air so this is how our wall hanging is made and I think it's pretty darn cute and it's going to make a very uh, cheerful thing for your children's room as well so I hope you liked today's video and please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.